me talk to you. Yeah. Shut up, I'm talking. I'm convinced that y'all be out here on Beyonce's internet and Blue Ivy's Wi-Fi and these TikTok streets just saying anything. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, I'm gonna help y'all out because this Kiki Palmer situation has some of y'all in a fucking chokehold. I would like to start off by saying that there is no judge in, in the entire nation that would award that man full custody, which means nay no to the child support. What up, YouTube? I'm back. I'm about to just jump right into this video, so let's get it. Now, this chick here says, no judge in the nation would give this man full custody or child support from said custody. Now, I can tell she's not a judge or a lawyer. I could be wrong, but it looks like she's not, okay? So you can't speak on something that you know nothing of, okay? He, as a man, can, is that word, can, get child support and full custody. It's happened in cases, okay? It can happen. Doesn't matter what you feel about it, because it sounds like your feelings are involved because you don't like this man like he did you dirty, which clearly he didn't. But your feelings are involved in this scenario, so okay, have your feelings. But anyway, I'm going to deal with basic information and keep it brief that man is entitled to child support whether he gets full custodial or joint if said scenario which is only a hypothetical situation because it never happened because all his information that's out there about him came from a third party an unverifiable third party to my knowledge at this point in time. So his information means nothing, but we'll entertain it for a minute. Like I said, he can, can means a possibility, could be in the rarest of cases, can get full custody with child support. But here's the thing, would he need to even have full custody? At all, no, he wouldn't. If anything, he could have joint custody or custodial custody and still get child support. If this was a real scenario, mind you, let me say that again, okay? And once again, in the rarest of cases, you, you don't know. You're not the judge, so you can't speak on court judge matters. So lady, you need to just uh, take a seat in the back for a minute because you're not saying anything about anything. Let's move on. Secondly. He is not entitled to anything that Kiki Palmer has. They weren't married. Yes, miss, you're right. They weren't married. But you know what? It's not him being entitled to anything she has. It's the child being entitled to anything that she has. So therefore, if by any stretch of the imagination, once again, if this was a real situation and not a hypothetical one, okay, and he won any kind of custody, between the joint to the full, any monies that he would get would be going to the child, not him. Okay? It's because what's called child support. That money would go to the child for him to take care of the child. So, regardless of marital status, they didn't have to be married. You don't have to be married for him to get child support. That's a known fact. So, lady, please. Stop it. So it'll be no on the full custody. It'll be no on the child support. It'll be no on the spousal support, boyfriend support. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! In her house? <laughs> he is a single father the same way that Kiki Palmer is a single mother. And those aren't new titles, okay? They were always single parents even when they were together. Okay, by my math, one plus one equals two, right? So two single parents would make a couple, right? Because you're together. So no, my dear, they were not single parents, even though they were together. They were a couple. They were a family together. And aside from that, who said they not together? He didn't say it. 
she didn't say it. A third party said it. So if you're living off a of third party information, you shouldn't even have made this stinking video. What is wrong with y'all? But it's crazy how he took a misstep when he gave her that mother baby, but forgot to give her the ring and have that legally bound before he attempted to fetter line her ass. So let me get this right. Because he didn't put a ring on it before he impregnated her. That makes it a misstep. And then he went to run to court to file child support, which he didn't do any of these things. This whole situation is still yet and still hypothetical. So the man made no missteps. And if you're saying that the baby was a misstep, which I hope you're not saying, I do believe that was planned. So I don't think anyone made any missteps. The only missteps made here are the ones that come from your video. And too bad I'm making this video upon your video. Jeez. And you know what? I'll, I'll even play devil's advocate with y'all for a minute. You understand? Yes, women have been doing this for years. But, but see, the, the difference between our mamas and his mama is that our mamas told us to ensure that we got a judge to legalize the relationship before we attempted to go after anything if he left us. Okay, back to the hypothetical situation again, because you know it did not happen. But to legalize a relationship, I guess it's through marriage. But here's the thing. This whole scenario, the child support part, you know, that's that's realistic. You know, that, that's a given. That's a real thing that you could do, go after child support. Custody, realistic. You could, you know, obviously go gain custody of your child. The whole house part, going for that, that to me made no sense. That was like the fakest part of the story I heard when they put it out there. So whoever that third party was, I don't know, unverifiable at this point, don't even care what it is because it was kind of like stupid to begin with. And the man never said anything since that tweet. He made one more comment, which is might be like a week ago or so, where he was like, you know, he didn't say anything that you hear out there. And I have another update upon that with the two of them. So again, this lady here is living off third party information. And unfortunately, it's looking bad for her. Like what the fuck? Some of y'all, some of y'all really need to grow up because adulting is kicking your ass. Congratulations, you played yourself. Okay, with that being said, I'ma say this. Dumb two are still together. As far as we know, that's how it should be known. They are still together. No one said they were broken up from either side. So therefore, they're still together. And I'ma also say this. With that whole situation, either they put in the work to get back together with that good work, or they made y'all look crazy with that good work. Because either way, somebody got worked. Bottom line, either it was them or it was us. But somebody got worked because they're still together. However you want to slice it. So her making this video off of third party information it was just like a waste of time okay nice little hypothetical to talk about but in reality we knew it never happened or at least i did the writing was on the wall they were just feeding into it and now she got some some good work out of it she did a video publicity i think she did a performance or two somewhere around so she good and after this I'm going to do the update video about the two of them being together still out there. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to be it. So this lady here. Yeah. Yeah. No, this video that you made wasn't it was never going to be it. And <sighs> this is it. Once again, street mechanic, I'm out to the next one, which will be Coming soon, that's for sure. So you can look out for that. All right? Later. Oh, yeah. One more thing. People, please, don't be buying into all this third-party information. 
And don't be getting your feelings involved in taking it personal. Y'all have no stake in this. You're not getting paid from it. You're not repping the people in it. Don't, don't get mad. Don't get upset. Don't get emotional. Just, just take it with a grain of salt until you get it from a reputable source. My nigga. <laughs>